Good evening, everyone. It's Muriel. I'm here with a project share. This is a project for Craft Supplies 1 on Etsy. <clears throat> I was sent a package uh, this month for the month of February, so I wanted to continue with the gift giving to my coworkers, and they love the coffee sleeves for Christmas so much that I decided to make three more, and I'm using some products from Craft Supplies 1 as well as K and Company and um, uh, some things I picked up at Michael's. So let me show you what I did. Here's the first one here. This is a coffee sleeve, the kind that you get from Starbucks. So these are the um, Kelly Panacci, um tags and labels that was in her package. And um, first what I did was I lined the paper with some uh, paper from my stash. I believe this may be Kane Company. And um, after I uh, covered the sleeve with the paper, I distressed the edges with some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Um, let me see here. I don't even recall. Because, okay, here we go. Big Victorian velvet. I tend to put stuff away really quick, so um, but that's what I used, and I just um, ink the edges. And this trim at the bottom is from Craft Supplies One, and I just kind of um, glued it on, but then kind of um, layered it, so to speak, so it would have that ruffle look. Basically, it is a very um, sweet, you know, one layer um, trim, the ruffle. So as I glued it down, I kind of did this to it. So it would have the, um, if you can see that, so it would have that kind of um, crossover look to it. And then on top of the trim, I used some of the um, white, <coughs> excuse me, Flatback pearls that were sent to me by these are very dainty, very pretty by Craft Supplies One. So I kind of covered the back all the way around to the front. Again, I used this um, ticket tag here, some recollection bling in pink, and then these are the flowers, the roses from Craft Supplies One. They are um, glued onto a chipboard piece, you can see here, so that they kept the shape of a heart. And these are the two-tone, um, they're red and pink. Here are the larger size of them. They came in two sizes, and they're very, very sweet looking, very pretty. So that's the first one. and. Um, as I created this, I made sure that um, I could um, bend it so that none of this would fall off. So I happened to have this beautiful glass that was sent to me from a friend who went to Louisiana with my name on it. So I kind of used uh, that as I created it. I would put the sleeve on the glass, and then as I hot glued, made sure that um, once they put their hot coffee in it, that it would remain, you know... Uh, the, the items would stay on it. So here is some more of the pink recollection um, bling and over here as well. And then the roses um, have stickle all over them. So that's a real pretty one there. And then my second one uh, looks like this. Again, I used some paper from the Kane Company. I used some of the white trim all along the top this time the white uh, lace trim so that it kind of sticks up over the um, sleeve and then I did a row of white flowers that were sent to me from Craft Supplies 1 and this homemade flower that I made here again from that same lace I just created that flower on the one inch glue dot and I used this k and Company glittered heart um, actually they're brads so they're in the um, Valentine section now probably really reduced down 
so I just put that in the center and these again were at Michael's they were a whole pack of these um, felt hearts so I just layered two and then hot glued the rose on the flower on top and then you can see back here some pink bling recollection and then one of these cute little um, circle tags saying your tweet your tweet Valentine again the stickles all over the uh, flowers the white flowers and on the back I just used one of the um, um, stickers again from the collection together forever and this chipboard is held together with um, some of the score pal tape because the glue guns won't work and um, I find that to be very uh, good for keeping these corrugated uh, pieces together. So that's the second one. And then here is the third one. So this, you can see the paper that I used. I took the white trim again, the white lace trim from Craft Supplies 1, and just kind of put it all along the um, middle of the sleeve. And then I glued some of the roses again, those beautiful uh, two-tone roses right here on the uh, left side of the sleeve. There is some of the Recollection Bling, and they're all pink. The bling is um, all pink. It looks like that. And then um, this card here that says, Valentine, I like hanging with you. So I thought it would be appropriate to put a clothespin here, and the clothespin basically is just holding this heart. So if she wanted to remove the heart, she certainly could, and we'll put that back on like that. And on the back, um, I used that beautiful polka dot, polka dot red uh, and white um, heart with the bow and arrow through it. So these are so fun to make and very easy as long as you have, you know, some really cool supplies like this trim that was sent to me, this white lace trim, and the beautiful uh, two-tone red and white flowers, as well as the um, flatback pearl, uh, flatback pearl trim, which is so sweet, very dainty. So that's my project, ladies, from um, craft supplies one I hope you are still creating your last minute Valentine projects for your friends and family we still have time Thursday is uh, four days away and there is one more layout that I want to show you so I'll probably be doing another video if not tonight probably tomorrow uh, to show you what I did for a Valentine's layout so thank you again and we'll talk soon bye now